What is going on YouTube? My name is Paul. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a minute, uh, but we got some exciting news. We got a new building. Uh, we've been tr trying to move into it for the past month uh, and a couple days. So, I mean, I had the building a little longer than that, but we've been moving into it for a little over a month now. Um, we're excited. So I'm just sore of putting all these shelves up behind me, as you can see and decided to grab a camera and just show you guys what I'm up to. So here we go. Walking through the office. It's all fairly messy. This is what we've purchased. It's a lot of mess, guys. I'm sorry if this is hurting somebody just to see all this. But, so, all of that is coming out. I'm going to have a front entry, probably somewhere up there. Hey, bear. For those of you that haven't seen my dog, chilling right there. But front entry coming in. All this is going to be office, lobby, shipping area, all type of stuff like that. These are all my parts that we've uh, pulled off the shelves. I mean, we're still doing shipping, so... It used to be on that pallet. Now it's kind of spread out. Just a little update for you guys. I know most of you have been wondering where I'm at. I've been just crazy busy. Um, I do not have any employees at the moment. Uh, the ones I had kind of quit. Um, had to fire a few. Um, and then we moved further out than we lived. So... We decided not to hire anybody at the moment, and now since the end of the year kind of thing. So this shop, this area, um, all going to be our shop area. There's going to be a wall built across, so front lobby, wash area, and then shop. Uh, probably my crate building. And then we'll have another storage there. Probably just going to keep all my equipment in there. But yeah, just a little idea of uh, <laughs> how bad moving looks. This is insane. Um, I've, I, I didn't think this is going to take me this long. So we've been in this uh, shop. I had the keys since uh, August 1st. Uh, we actually started moving mid-September, and I was out of my lease uh, 1st of October uh, because I could I found actually somebody to replace me, so they actually let me go because my lease wasn't ending till uh, 1st of January. But So where that box area is ending, there's going to be a wall. Um... And then just kind of a few offices by the walls, front lobby. Um, hey, Bear. And then this is where I've actually been doing some work. Um, we're missing a bunch of lights, but lights are coming later. So we got a wheel rack. I can't really show you much because it's super dark. But it's about just 18 inches just to hold the spares and all the wheels then this is our bin which if you've seen our previous videos it pretty much got moved here i got i think two more sections of shelving to put up um and that would be it had to fix the ceiling because there was no insulation in there and it's kind of getting a little cold and frigid so decided to get that built and insulated but so the bin's kind of just moved as a whole uh they will get new tags they will be um reorganized because that's going to be a different row of shelving and i'm currently working on this main one this is all gonna house all our long trims um plastic trims anything that's longer uh up to four four feet a little bit more probably and that's going to house that. So, um, to give you a comparison, comparing to my other shop, this is where the wall ended. And we still have all that. So, this is 150 feet deep. Uh, total square footage for the building is 20,000. 
and like 800 or something but got all these new shelving um pretty cool i uh, got 12 feet um beam length i think that's gonna save up a little bit because it was similar price i'm going 8 or 12 uh you just have to we'll use less of uprights but i got the boards on them now still working on it it's probably gonna take me another day um and then this is the biggest thing i've i've built which i'm pretty proud of um so so the way i have this laid out which i'll show you i do have a layout on that side but uh, both of these doors i want to have a breeze so we have forklifted items on this side and then they'll be on this side so our forklift has enough room to turn around and do both but this is pretty much going to house all our engines and yeah that's all we got left i put a uh, fairly decent sale on there before we started moving so sold out a lot of our stuff yeah i'm excited this is big i mean i'm all kind of here by myself i got my kids with me helping out just you know how if you have kids you know how they help but um you can't complain um and then my wife does most of my computer work um pretty much back how we started me and my wife um, and then eventually i will get employees i just don't want to do it now it's it's a mess um it'll take me more time training them than getting this done myself um i did have some help putting this up we had a neighbor um needed some something to do so he helped us out a little bit um this is the layout i told you so this row will run all the way there it'll be identical to that for engines transmissions axles everything that's heavy and needs to be on pallets then i got a 30 inch uh, row a 30 inch and a 30 inch uh, all these 30 inch rows are going to be for our like radios um glove boxes consoles uh, brake calipers steering wheels like anything that's decent size not nothing too big that way you don't have to actually reach because this is 48 and see I mean, I'm only reaching about 30 inches, so that's why we decided to go a little shallower on these. Um, it should work out pretty good. Um, and then this got a whole loft, uh, 2,500 square feet of loft area. Uh, I'm going to have to build a staircase going up and then the railing all around here. Uh, that's a gate for our uh, forklift use, so if we need to put something there up with the forklift you don't have to carry it up the stairs that gate opens inside just so nobody falls out you drop whatever you need climb up um, and then we have our pallet jack up there might be a little darker in here oh, there's more dogs um, and then this is all under um, the loft i do have temporary lighting in here eventually i'll have all led um like strip lights or something but got our seat cushions in here there's more up there i mean this is all the door panels i've had uh, just one two three four sections uh, we sold out i put a store on sale before we moved we sold out a bunch of stuff look at these cradles and then we got some doors very few doors left um it's probably not that we have very few doors left necessarily it's just the shop is so massive in comparison and got all my long deep uh trims and like roof racks um the reason i can do long ones is these beams they stick out about uh two feet so that gives this shelf more depth but yeah all the way there's the end so plenty plenty more to grow and this is what i'm excited about uh we moved from a i think six thousand square feet we had a few more units uh, previously so we had i think up to nine thousand in total but that's when i had the units across the lot um at the old building but yeah everything's taking time 
It's a lot bigger. Like that floor took me three days to build. I could have hired it out, but um, when you're moving, um, the biggest thing I did not realize that uh, this is going to cost so much. All these little projects are costing me so much money. It's insane. But not complaining. I'm excited. Um, excited to finally have my own building. Uh, this building, it does require a lot of work, like insulating the doors. There's there's gaps literally like everywhere. Um, but we're going to have fun. Um, I can't show you the outside. It's already dark. It's night. But I'll eventually... I just wanted to show you guys where I'm up to. What I've been doing. Um, I could climb up there, but just don't want to. Uh, I guess we will. Let's just get up there and show you. Show you what we got. All our pool noodles, uh, probably half a truckload left. Uh, love these things. So here, I will probably get some shelving in here too, and we'll store dashboards, bumpers. Um, and you see that? That's when you don't leave enough space between the joints. But we'll fix that. And seats, bumpers, all the bulky things. That's why I built this. I think it's going to be much easier to store. We do have quite a few seats left, but few of them are sets. So not that many. We had way more. But I can still have another row above this. So if I have more shelving left over, I'll definitely just have um, like one uh, one section height and then just have a flat surface on top so kind of add more space for ourselves gotta do new lighting all this is all old school stuff but yeah look how massive this looks i'm we're just thrilled um this took me five years to get to this point and i'm happy a lot of stress that's for sure i'm trying to get organized and not only that i'm not necessarily just organizing i'm kind of building for future so all of this shelf like this is all new um and we have one two three four four more shell sections that we already purchased we got a couple hundred of these um and all i have to do is just put them all together but i'm kind of building ahead I know I'll need more and I don't want to go do this again. So I am trying to utilize every inch of this building. That way, five, five, maybe 10 years down the road, I don't have to worry about it. Um, I mean, it took me this long to get here. Um, we're at about 14 and a half thousand listed items. Just keep some of our overstock on boxes. Yeah, don't be afraid. I will have another row here, and then we'll have one between these uh, columns. Um, so the way I have it is wheels, uh, medium bins, small bins. I'll have another section of small bins, and it'll have large tubs uh, for just kind of loose parts that are too small to put on the shelf, but too big to do anything with. All right, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please give me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Pop, um, I don't know the schedules of this yet. I'm going to try to put, put new videos out. Um, right now, it just it's just me and my wife working on this 20,000 square feet warehouse and trying to put all the parts away. And before we even get into new cars, most likely I will not start parting things out until probably New Year's or something. But... 
that being said, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.